I actually forgot a uh, an effect. Give me 30 more seconds. Eighteen ninety five Malbec wine of Argentina. Nineteen dollars ninety five cents. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, it's your it's your man. Donovan Sharp. Let me go ahead and take these off. Um, coming to you live from the uh, from the Vegas suite out here, post CME. <clears throat> it is good to have you all in here this evening. I was I didn't really plan on doing a a live stream um, because I was just gonna you know relax the night away. But um, I went ahead and I um, posted a picture of myself throwing the double middle fingers aimed at a particular someone, aimed at a particular someone. And, um, you know, it's interesting, man. Like a lot of... Um, a lot of times things get lost in translation, right? And and listen, of course, sometimes they get lost in translation, right? But in the end, you know, there's some things that need to be said. There's some things that sort of need to be kind of ironed out. I don't do this stuff for the likes. I don't do it for whatever. You know, I do it to be interesting. I do it to be transparent and all the rest of that. So I uh, took a little bit of a victory lap, right? A little bit of a victory lap. No big deal. Just taking a shot at this someone. And um, <clears throat> it's actually the only person I think as far as I'm concerned, had anything negative to say about it. And listen, it is what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to make too big a deal out of this, but it actually got seven thumbs up. So now I will admit right now, I am absolutely being petty, right? A lot of the people, a lot of guys, a lot of guys, <clears throat> tend to, um, or a lot of guys said my, not even my beef, but my subtle jabs at uh, <laughs> Mr. President was me being petty. No, that wasn't being petty. No, that was retribution. Being petty is making a big deal out of something that is not a big deal, right? So I quickly had to correct those people and say, hey, listen, man, um, this is not me being petty. At least that wasn't the case. No, that was retribution for a man who did his level best to quite literally destroy my brand, my image, my business, my conference. He docks me, put out all my personal information, put out all my girlfriend's personal information. 
And so when I sort of take a subtle jab at him, oh, Donovan, you're petty. No, I'm not petty. This is this is real shit. What I'm doing tonight is absolutely petty. <laughs> what I'm doing, <laughs> listen, I am I am as self-aware as anybody has ever been. Sometimes I do have some blind spots, all right? And I try to kind of learn my lessons and, and all that good stuff. But um, every once in a while, you know, I will have that, I will have that moment of clarity. Um, so everything I've done to this point has been far from petty. What I'm doing tonight is absolutely petty, but I kind of don't care. So Hayden Davidson said, bro, from a fan, not such a good look with flipping the bird. Stay humble, not cocky. My response, my response to uh, Mr. Davidson said, bro, from a perspective you know nothing about, go fuck yourself with that. It's easy to tell someone what a, quote, good look is or isn't when you are not the target of three plus months of slander, doxing, and harassment. I'm humble 99% of the time. And I probably exaggerated there. I'm probably humble 79% of the time. But the few times I flex, there's always someone who sends this bullshit virtue signaling wisdom. Miss me with that nonsense. Then... Armando Yesca says, I lost a lot of respect for him. He has a real arrogant attitude. It's not a good look. Armando, go fuck yourself, dude. Go fuck yourself. If all it took for you to lose respect for me after the years of hard work that I've put in, the thousands of videos, the tens of thousands of hours, the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I've invested into building up what I have built, then you were really, you didn't really have respect for me in the first place. You didn't have respect for me in the first place. And of course, badass 1G says, all the talks of how the beef is going to ruin the mana swamp and needs to end, then he keeps pushing the drama. S-M-H. Yeah, badass 1G, you can go fuck yourself with that too, my friend. You can go fuck yourself with that. See, all these dudes, and 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 by the way, like the vast majority of the feedback has been great. And you know, listen, man, I can I can sort I can take constructive criticism. I understand when people disagree with certain things that I do or don't do. You know, that's just part that's just part of the that's part of the that that's part of the gig. That's part of the gig. But these people, as far as I know, have no idea what it's like to do what I do and to be who I am. That doesn't mean that I'm any better or I'm special or, or, or anything like that. No, that's, that, that's not what I'm saying at all. But unless you have direct experience with what I've gone through, then I can't take advice from you, right? It makes absolutely no sense to take advice, constructive criticism from someone who's never been in my shoes. Now, if Kevin Samuels gives me a call, and I'm sure he probably will at some point, and he says, hey, look, Donovan, understand where you're coming from, but not a good look. Well, you don't. You want to know something? I'm going to take that a little bit more seriously. You want to know why? Because Kevin Samuels has been where I'm at. He's been where people have thrown stones at him, made all sorts of crazy accusations, questioning his sexuality, of all things. He knows, he, he knows and he understands. And even still, he probably disagrees with what I'm doing on some level. I will certainly give him that. But <clears throat> Hayden Davidson, Armando Yescas, and Badass 1G, you guys don't know anything about, you guys don't know anything about what you're talking about. So until I know, until I can see that you've walked in these shoes, Shut the fuck up about shit you don't know, man. Like, seriously, get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. 
Now, I will admit, again, that what I'm doing right now is petty. Going at you guys. But taking a victory lap, <laughs> taking a victory lap after what I have had to endure for the last three months, I think I've earned that. I think I've earned that. I've dealt with a man again, for those of you just joining, I've dealt with a man who put all my private and personal information out there, all my girlfriend's private personal information out there. He knew we didn't want that out there. That's why he put it out there. He did, he did this three-hour hit piece, all of his goons doing all these hit pieces, spread the video, blah, 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 blah. His crony, DDJ, fallen in line, MGTOW Dictionary, all those guys. I'm the target of all this harassment. He's sending out emails. It's Miss Piggy and Devin is a obese and all this other kind of stuff, right? But I'm just supposed to just take the high road when I actually end up winning. Let's go back to what Hayden Davidson says. And no, oh, oh, and no need to roll out the old girl to prove anything to anyone. Just protect her by, by not mentioning her and let her do the housework in peace. You see, this again is where people need to do their research. Either that or they're just disingenuously leaving stuff out. I've talked about Devin in the past and I've shared pictures of her in the past, maybe two, three years ago. But when someone, again, doxes my girlfriend, calls her names and is picking all, all this other kind of stuff, well, guess what? I'm not just going to let him get away with that. I'm not going to let people think that some, the worst picture of her ever taken ever is what she looks like. So you're goddamn right there's a reason for me to roll out my girl for all the world to see. There's a reason why I put out those ass pictures. It's to show you motherfuckers what you already knew. It's to show you guys what you already knew. My girlfriend's an attractive woman, man. And it's not... <laughs> for people to act like she's not attractive, especially those in the comments, by saying, well, I wouldn't. Sure you would. Otherwise, you wouldn't comment. That's all there is to it. So was there a need for me to roll her out? No, but I felt obligated to do so because at this point now, it's got to be a part of my brand, right? Protect her by not mentioning her. Yeah, kind of hard to do when someone else puts out her government name, doxes her, and puts up the worst photo ever. So Badass1G, Armando Yeskis, and Hayden Davidson, and everybody who liked his comments, unsubscribe from my channel. Fuck you guys. Don't need you guys. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about, I don't care how petty this is. I don't care what, I don't care what any of you motherfuckers think, man. None of you motherfuckers know. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea what this is like. And I remember as a sports fan, I used to say, well, if I were player X, then I would sign for XYZ years. You want to know why I don't do that now? Because I've never been offered a multi-million dollar contract. That's why. You see, it's easy for me to tell someone to take millions of dollars less when it's not my money, right? It's easy for people to say, well, if I were in his situation, I would do X, Y, and Z. I don't know what the fuck I would do. Even Mr. President, I can sit here and say, well, listen, if I were in Mr. President's shoes, I certainly wouldn't have acted that way. Now, chances are I probably would not have. But if I'm keeping it real, I don't know. Listen, I'd like to think that I would handle it a lot better than he did, but I've never really been in his situation. At least not yet. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about what I would or wouldn't do in any given situation if I have not been in that situation. Only, I mean, listen, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It is a free country, right? But I'm free to say, go fuck yourself and go do your research. So for all you motherfuckers trying to act like, well, you should take the high road. Listen, I've taken the high road most of the time. And for all that I've been through, what I had to do, the scars and sacrifices, the money, the ridicule, the public, everything that I had to go through to pull this thing off, for anyone to suggest that I shouldn't take a victory lap and maybe flip the bird 
at the person that the bird was meant for, for you guys to tell me that, that just means that you, 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 you can't possibly appreciate how difficult this was. Now, I'm not telling you, I'm not saying anybody should feel sorry for me. I live a great life. I lived a great life before this. I'm going to, I'm going to live a great life after this. This thing was really, this thing was a home run. It really, really was. The turnout was unbelievable. Everything worked flawlessly. We literally got through the conference without incident. At least not that I know of. I had a very, very, I hired a very, very good team to take care of this for me. But in terms of what I had to, and never mind the fact, never mind how difficult this was to pull off in the first place. I had to do all of this in the face of a childish, of a childish individual doing everything he could to put a stop to this. So when I actually come through and come out victorious, you're goddamn right, I'm going to flip him the bird. And anyone who pretends to care about whether it's a good look or not, you were never a fan in the first place. You were never in support in the first place. Listen, man, a lot of you guys follow me because of my transparency. Obviously, there are things that I don't make public for obvious reasons. I am trying to maintain some semblance of privacy. But... I've attained the following that I have because I'm I'm raw, I'm real. I keep it all the way real. And keeping it all the way real, this also means you guys get to see some of my human side, right? Anybody in my shoes, it, everyone out there knows that I've been obviously behind the scenes, things have to happen the way they do. But I put on a professional face and this and that. But guys, I'm also a human fucking being. I'm a human being. I'm not going to sit here and act like none of that stuff bothered me. Of course it did. And that is going to get dealt with. It's not going to happen overnight, guys. It's not going to be in a month. It, this is going to be this is going to be a very, um, I don't want to say too much to give this away. Retribution is not going to come quickly. And it's not going to come cheaply. Um, I am I am spending a substantial amount of money to right the wrongs that have been that have been done to me. So the parties involved, if you guys don't hear or see anything for two or three months, I can assure you nothing has stopped. There are things I want to do this the right way. I'm not looking for no quick, easy victory. Oh no. I am going to make an example of these individuals. Yes, you heard me. I'm going to do this legally. I'm going to do this the right way. And like I said earlier, these people are going to understand that actions have consequences. I'm not going for some cheap, easy, pre no, I'm not trying to win the press conference, man. Uh-uh, no, no. Mm -mm. Never had a problem with this dude, but this dude went a bridge too far multiple times for too long. And the action I'm going to take against him is for me. It is for Rolo Tomasi. It is for everyone that this man or this person has ever wronged in this way. I'm doing this not only for me, but I'm doing this for everyone before me. People can say what they want to say. They can do what they want to do. It is a free country. But as I said before, actions have consequences. And I feel very fortunate that I have the resources to make sure that retribution is severe and permanent. Retribution is absolutely coming. The wheels are already in motion. We are going to take care of this in the courts that we're gonna do this all completely legally. So go on, continue to continue to be irresponsible. You're, you are literally just digging yourself a deeper hole. And for those of you who think it's not a good look for me to be taking a victory lap after what I've been through the last three months, you were never really on board in the first place. You were never really on board in the first place. Listen, man, I'm 100% raw and real. That Listen, that that's just all there is to it. Yes, I try to maintain an air of professionalism, but I'm also a human being. I'm not going to sit, I'm not, I'm not going to remain silent. I'm not going to remain mum on what's been happening the past few months. So after having pulled off what I have pulled off, 
I think I deserve a little bit of a victory lap. And for those of you who want to pretend like you wouldn't be doing what I'd be doing, what, what I'm doing, if you were in this situation, go fuck yourselves. Get out of here with that. Uh, Black will think $10. Appreciate that. He says, if the haters complain about your victory lap, then make sure you take a second one so they can kiss your black ass twice. If what you do gets no haters, then you didn't do it right. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, shout out to uh, Devin Sharp, uh, newest member of TSR Towers. Um, is that somebody else or is that you? No, that's me. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what happened. <laughs> you always have to like resubscribe. Um, yeah, pop that bottle, brother. You better fucking believe it. You better fucking believe it, man. I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck these dudes. Listen, this is the last I'm going to speak of it, guys. Tonight is the night. It, that's the end of it. I have claimed, dude, I have claimed victory. That's it. I won. I won. This dude did everything he could, legally or otherwise, to try to, to try to stop this event. Not only was the, not only did I pull this off, this was a home run in every sense of the word. In every sense of the word. We sold all but four of our tickets. We sold our VIP tickets out in less than two weeks. This was a flawless victory. Flawless victory. King Life, $5. Says, you won, bro. Asperger's Daniel Radcliffe has tried to ruin you, but ruined himself. Yes, no one is taking that person seriously anymore. That's it. That's it. That's it. No one is going to take him seriously anymore. No one is going to his convention. No one is going, listen... Anyone who goes to this convention got in for free because ain't nobody paying $2,500 to go down there and see that. And if anyone speaks, if, if anyone's speaking for him, it's probably because they're afraid that he's going to put out their personal information if they leave or if they tell him, eh, you know what, Anthony, not really going to do this anymore. That's you want to know why I know this? Because this is what he does. This is what he does. This is what he does. He is fucking done and he knows it. Miami J, $2. Says, congrats, brother. Your success is well-deserved. Appreciate that. Pimped out geese. Says, nah, man, you're allowed to bite back. Fuck them. Now the CMEs are over. Now that the CMEs are over, what are your overall thoughts about the event? Anything different next year? Um, Dude. Oh, my God. Dude, this was, oh my, this was such a home run. I don't know that I have any thoughts um, about the one next year. Um, I'm still, I mean... I'm still in the uh, I'm still in the afterglow in the aftershock. I'm actually shocked. Not that I didn't think I could pull this off, but the I mean, it's I mean, it was such a home run. Like it was. Oh my god, dude! All of the speeches were spot on. All of the accommodations were spot on. The CME was exactly it went exactly the way it was supposed to go. Incredible, incredible. So yeah, yeah. I'm, it's it's going to take a while for this to process and for this to sink in. Uh, but, but I will certainly let you know. Uh, Janet Latalian with the $25 says being petty is everything he did. Eh, maybe, maybe. Listen, man, I'm allowed to be petty. I'm allowed to be petty, man. Real talk. I don't care. I don't care, man. Listen, dude, I was professional and steadfast the whole time. Guess what? I'm allowed to take a few minutes and say, fuck you. I won and that you're fucking done. And that you know you're fucking done. The Red Lens. Chris Von Eric says, congrats, my man. Sorry I missed the CME. I will make it to the next one. Like you, I will continue to feature RP men who have a positive message. Real talk. Jason Bravo. Another $20 Super Chat says, this past weekend was an enlightening one. I'll make sure to make it to next year's CME in person. Glad I was able to tune in virtually. And thanks to the Six for answering my Super Chat's Earlier today, a lot to think about. Yeah, very good question you asked. Very, very good question you asked. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Michael Mandark, new member. Appreciate that. Peter Lee, $10. Says, congrats on the CME. All your hard work paid off. You deserve a long vacation. And I'm going to tell you what, dude. Whew. Yes, I do. Deserve a long vacation. Let's go. Devin's like, let's go. <laughs> let's go someplace there's no internet, right? Yeah. Red Pill Mike with the $20 super chat says, by going after a man's girl over a personal beef with said man, 
He is lucky you chose the path to handle it in the manner you have chosen and be grateful he doesn't have to consume his daily nutrition through a tube. I second that motion. I second that motion because he would never, he would ne Clark County is the only place on earth that he would have the balls to say any of this to me in person. Because as much as I dislike him, I think I would dislike prison a lot more. So if ever there was a chance for him to come and talk junk to my face, this would have this would have been the place to do it. Outside of Clark County, different story. Different story. Lavore 1980. Haven't seen you in here in a while. Says, congrats, big bro. You did your thing, and this is well deserved. You better fucking believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. Sheldon Ross. $5 says, any guy complaining about how you acted clearly have no balls. That was super tame to what I would have done. Whew. Guys, try, and you guys know how I am. It took all, oh my God, dude. Hey, it really taught me a lot about myself, man. It really showed me that, you know what? When I really have to restrain myself, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Had this happened two, three years ago, might be a different story. Uh, Janik with uh, 100 Hong Kong dollars, says in 10 years, 10 years in Hong Kong, started a martial arts school, two businesses and two legal issues, armchair analyst experts without skin in the game, give me advice. Now my response to them is, fuck you, do better. Right, right. Like, don't give me advice on shit you know nothing about. If Kevin Samuels calls me and says, hey man, that's a bad look, guess what, I'm all ears. Kevin Samuels has my respect. He's one of my best friends. We go back years and years. He knows what I'm he knows what I'm going through. Uh Devin says, I don't know what I did to deserve all the hate, but it has fallen on deaf ears. We did this thing, it was a success. What have they done lately? Uh yeah, nothing. Nothing. Uh shout out to Devin. Somebody's in there impersonating you. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Yeah, Devin again says, who will attend an event where the organizer docks as the speakers and attendees and their families? Yeah, nobody. Nobody. Uh, the goddamn bacon 223 says, victory laps for the, wait for it, hashtag winning. I like that. He's a good dude, man. He's a funny guy. A few more super chats here. Yeah, my sentiments exactly. Dude, Devin and I are so freaking worn out. It's 819 out here on the West Coast, and we're probably going to be going to bed another half an hour. <laughs> a Terzo, Fowler says, got to teach the bully a lesson. Congrats on the CME, and I hope to attend the next one. Appreciate that. Kevin Ibanez! Kevin Ibanez, one of the original TSROGs. Wow, the prodigal son returns. Welcome back. The Red Pill Conservative says, man, you have every right in the world to go in on that dude. He was absolutely out of line. We got your back 100%, brother. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that very, very much. Beastly Nerd says, congrats. Looking looking forward to future events. Appreciate that. Sonic Boomin, uh, $1.99 says, you should challenge him to a boxing match I pay to see. Well, you'd waste your money because he would never take me up on that. He would never, ever take me up on a boxing match. Uh, Anthony Johnson's never been punched in the face in his life. And you can, well, you can tell that he's never been punched in the face because of the way he talks. Like any man who talks with that kind of reckless, abandoned bravado has never, he's never been in a physical confrontation with a man who could possibly do damage to him. This is why, and again, it's that false bravado. You guys saw what happened when someone challenged him a little bit. He absolutely lost his Shit, he lost his mind. Now he's done. 21 Studios is done. His business is done. His business is done. And I, I got to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to say that I'm worried about my safety, but but I will say this. Uh, I will say this. Um, um, we are <laughs> We are taking personal protection and security a lot more seriously at the Sharp household. That's that's for sure. That is for sure. Pew pew. So um, yeah. So I guess to put a bow on this thing, and I, again, guys, this is going to be the end of it. I've, I've I've had my fun. I you know I put up my memes and I took my I took my little shots at them. Um, I sent out an email. 
I sent uh, I sent out an e I sent out an email that sort of addressed uh, different aspect aspect different aspects of things. But um, in the end, in the end, what uh, what this comes down to um, is uh, Anthony Johnson is the physical manifestation of everything that is wrong with the manosphere. The 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 entitlement, the stooping to new lows. He doxed me. He doxed my girlfriend. He put out George Bruno's address. Put out Zach Small's address. Guys, this is not what men do. This is not what men do, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's just like the actions of this guy are just. And like I said, man. About halfway through this experience, I said to myself, you know what? I cannot in good conscience allow that guy to be the representative of this men's community. No way. There's no way. Couldn't let it happen. Could not let it happen. Happen. And I would like to say that I have effectively removed him from his presidency, but he did that on he did that on his own. He did it on his own. Honestly, he could have just he could have stayed mum the entire time, sold his event and maybe maintain some semblance of dignity and pride. Nope. He went full, I don't want to say the R word, but I'm trying to, I, I can't say that on YouTube, Dev. Yeah. Right. He went full, hang on a second. Hang on a second. He went full drat, dratter. <laughs> Spelled backwards. And if, and 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 you know the interesting thing is, is he didn't he didn't just he a lot of people think that he destroyed his business with the with going after me. Oh no, he started that in earnest. He started that in earnest when he went after Ola Tomasi. When he went after Ola Tomasi, that's that was really the beginning of the end. That was really the beginning of the end. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to do an event of my own. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, man, I guess he probably knew that if my event actually jumped off, that would effectively and literally be the end of 21 Studios and the 21 Convention. Ain't nobody going to the 21 Convention. Ain't nobody going. Ain't nobody speaking. Anybody speaking is being basically held hostage. Anybody going got in for free. Ain't nobody paying for that. Nobody's paying for that, man. Ain't nobody paying Anthony Johnson no $2,500 for that. Not anymore, they're not. Not anymore, they're not. And I have and I had very little to do with it and everything to do with what he did. I was just another alternative. D Digital, five dollars says I respect you because the way that you the way that people you do business with react and respect you in turn keep going. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Khalil G, five dollars, says sue him for his MAGA hat. Great work on the CME. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh my God, the super chats are still coming in. JJ Green says you achieved something that creates hate in jealous people who never could do it, and they know it. A powerful event. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Red Pill Mike, another five dollar super chat says he has gone from president of the Manosphere to Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> wow! Comment of the evening. She has more credibility. She has proof. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid. That's true. That's true. I wonder if he has a red dress or a or, or a blue dress anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man. If I'm being now, I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. After going through, oh, shout out to uh, Ike, who was an attendee, friend of Dr. Uh, Sean Thunder Wallace. Um, I will say this. I will say this. Um, I do have a newfound. I do have a newfound respect for Anthony in this regard. It is hard to plan and pull something like this off. Listen, I knew it wasn't easy. I knew it wasn't easy. But this was really hard. This was really hard, man. Dude, I dude, I started losing my hair. God, I got high blood pressure. 
Oh my God. Woo. The physical and mental toll that this took. Again, don't feel sorry for me, but this. <laughs> Listen, man, there's no love loss between myself and Mr. President. But if I'm keeping it 100, I got to give him credit. I got to give him credit for what he was for what he was able to do for as long as he was able to do it at a much younger age than me. I got to give him credit. I got to listen. There are a lot of people in this world that I do not like, but I respect right now. I don't respect Anthony Johnson, at least not anymore. Right. But I have a little more respect for him now that I have actually planned and gone through this. Um, it, dude, it takes a, it takes for him to do this from the age of 18. Hey, listen, I got to give it up. I got to give it up. I got to give it up. That's probably the only thing that he ever did. Right. And in the end, the reason why he no longer has a business is because he did not know how to build and cultivate relationships. That's all there is to it. The guy burned bridge after bridge after bridge. He thought he could act like someone, Anthony acted like someone who had the abundance mindset. Well, if I burn this bridge, I'm always going to have other bridges. Well, guess what, dude? Guess what, man? I, Dude, I took your MC. <laughs> I took your, dude, I took both Georges away from you. I took your MC. I took your, 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 your production manager. Okay, George Bruno, George Kellis, and I'm sure you'll come out with new information about them. That's fine. Keep doing what you're doing. Dude, I took your sponsor and tactical soap. I took your convention, homie. I took that from you, bro. Now, you had a hand in giving it to me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but fam, like, I win. I win, dude. Like, check fucking mate. Checkmate, bro. And even if something terrible were to happen to me and I were to leave this earth, that's not going to make no difference, man. Ain't nobody coming to 21, dude. Whether I'm, dude, if I decide to never do another CME again, you're finished, dude. You're done. And it's because of you. And so I want to give this special message to uh, Rolo Tabasi, man, because Rolo has been nothing but a solid, dude, Rolo's been nothing but a solid dude. This dude has saved more lives. I, I can't even quantify this. Part of the reason I'm doing this, part of the reason I did the CME, part of the reason I'm pursuing legal actions against the dream is because of Rolo, man. It's because of Rolo. Rolo, this is for you. This is for this is for me and everybody else, but this is mainly for Rolo, Rolo Tomasi. You got to put respect on that dude's name. That dude is the godfather of the manosphere. And Anthony Johnson, Anthony Johnson disrespected him in a way that would... I don't want to I don't want to get I don't want to get too raw and real. But but this is this is part of the this is part of what drives me is because what he did to Rolo, man. So Anthony is going to pay for what he did to me. He's going to pay for what he did to Rolo. He's paying for all of it. All of it. All of it. That's not out yet, Devin. You're paying for all of that, dude. I know you're broke. I know you're broke. You don't have, dude, you don't have two fucking nickels to rub together. I know it and you know it. This is over with. And like I said, whether I'm around or not, you're finished, dude. You're done. Done. And you got nobody to blame but yourself. Fucking asshole. This is the last day I'm going to talk about it. Huh? Hang on a second. Let me go back and I want to read all these super chats here. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm, okay. Uh, Black Wolf Inc. $5 super chat says, no sacrifice, no victory. Keep the pride. Hold the line, fam. You know who has your back and will always support those that want the best for men. Abso-fucking-lutely. Roy Kaufman, $5. is good to make it this year. Would love to help with creative strategy and design anytime. Very good. Thank you. Michael Matroke, the fourth says, you lead by example. You're goddamn right. Journey to masculine excellence. I like that with the $50 super chat. <laughs> Don DeMarco, DeMarco. Says, yeah, I have a problem with a victory lap. They should name a street in Vegas after you keep doing, <laughs> keep doing your marathon walk, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Black Wolf Inc. says that's the problem. He's too young for success. Yeah, he experienced a lot of success early, and I think he just couldn't handle it. Dude, if I were as, as – can you imagine me as successful as him at his age? I'd be worse off than he is now. Are you kidding me? Janik with the $25 says Macau has five times the turnover than Vegas. Hit me up for See Me Asia after this feces show is over. JB84 says checkmate, Mr. President. Yes, what he did to Rolo was unforgivable. Unforgivable. Unforgivable, man. Anti-gravity 74 is in the chat. Holy shit, man. Oh, that's what you were trying to tell me earlier. Anti-gravity 74, one of the original TSR OGs. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Wow. Well, good to see you here in the chat. Appreciate that. Anti-gravity 74, dude, he was there since the since the very beginning. Damn. Love it. So um at any rate. Um, so this is the last time I'm going to speak on any of this stuff. Um, you know, I, you know, listen, man, I had my fun. I had my fun. And, um, so <laughs> Pollard J095 dollars has been on military, been on army deployment. WTF happened quick and dirty, please. I decided to do a conference of masculine excellence. Anthony Johnson retaliated by doxing myself and my girlfriend, harassing me, uh, putting out slanderous and libelous comments out about me. I pulled off my conference and 21 Studios is done. That's about it. And I am now taking my... Anti-gravity center says, good to see you still remember me. Of course, of course. Red Pill Mike says, I heard he has a side hustle singing happy birthday dressed as Marilyn Monroe just to continue to buy subscribers. I wouldn't doubt it. But this is the last time Anthony Johnson or 21 Studios name is going to is gonna leave my mouth. Um, I'm not, I guess you can call this a response video. Um, I'm not going to speak about any, I'm not going to speak about anything else um, publicly. Um, until, until the um, until the legal proceedings are over, um, at which point it will be public record. Oh, shout out to Danny Chan with the fifty dollar with the fifty dollar cash app says for dancing on the graves of your enemy. Appreciate that, and shout out to Thanatos Clutch who sent me a twenty dollar super chat in the previous stream. I forgot to mention that. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, Donald J. Trump, hey, Mr. President, 224 says, I'm appointing him to Secretary of Education. <laughs> this is funny. That's funny. But, yeah, this is, this, is, this is the final word on all things Anthony Johnson and um, all that 21 stuff. Um, 21 Studios is finished. Nobody's going to his convention. No, I mean, listen, if people go, they're getting in for free. If people speak there, they're doing so under indirect arrest. You guys know why. Um, but, um, for those of you who think that, uh, Mr. Johnson is going to get off light, you are sorely, sorely, mis sorely mistaken, sorely mistaken. Um, this kid had, this kid thinks he knows what's coming for him. He has no idea. He has no idea. He really doesn't. He will soon enough. And like I said, guys, listen, retribution is not going to be swift and it's not going to be cheap. But like I said before, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for Rolo Tomasi. I'm doing this for George Bruno. I'm doing this for Zach Small and anyone else. This guy has fucked over and just gotten off scot-free. Uh-uh. No, no, I'm going to make a fucking, legally, I'm going to make a fucking example out of this asshole. And I'm going to show him and the world once again that actions have consequences. You fuck with the wrong dude, homie. And I'll bet you never in your wildest dreams, and I don't really mean to get racial here, but I guess I kind of can. 
Never in your wildest dreams, Mr. President, did you ever think that the guy who was going to unseat you would be a guy like me? Never in your wildest dreams. You want to know how you want to know how I know he never knew? He never thought of this? Because two years ago, I actually floated the idea of doing my own conference, right? He said, sure, I'll let you borrow my camera crew and this and that and the other, blah, 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 blah. Then, of course, a few months later, he shoots me a text message joking that he should do a Black 21 convention. Then the whole O'Shea thing happened. But Anthony had no problem with supporting me and this and that and the other. Oh, yeah, I'll do this and you can borrow my camera crew. The reason he was so gung-ho about it is because he didn't think I could do it. He did not think I could do it. Surprise, motherfucker. Surprise. He didn't think I was serious. He did not think I was serious. I kept reinvesting in the business. I built good, solid relationships. And here I am. I'm not the president of the Manosphere. I never, I'm not trying to be anybody's leader. Or what I don't care about that. But I can, tell you, I can tell you who's not the president of the Manosphere. Anthony the fucking joke Johnson. You're a, you know what? You are a fucking joke. You're a joke, dude. <laughs> Nobody takes you seriously anymore, dude. They don't. And listen, man, I admit, I used to take you seriously. But when you started in on all that Rolo Tomasi stuff, I was like, okay, well, that's between him and Rolo. Then I found out about other stuff that you were doing. Nah, bro, you're a joke. You are a fucking, dude, you are a joke. And you know you're a joke. This is why you're reacting the way you're reacting. So let this shit burn, motherfucker. Because I promise you, you are going to rue the day you ever fuck with me. And I would keep an eye out. I would keep an eye out for the mail because trust me, there are some summons coming, bruh. Retribution, legal retribution is absolutely a coming. And if you don't hear anything from me or my legal team for a month and a half, two months, no, 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 man. Retribution is coming. I promise you. I promise you. I have the resources and the fucking anger to see this through to the end. To the end. And you can write me all sorts of bullshit letters about what you're in the United States Supreme Court. You're going to find out. You are going to find out. You should not have fucked with me, Anthony. You should not have fucked with me. I am the last person you should have fucked with, dude. See, I'm not See, I'm not a nice guy. I'm not, I'm not Rolo Tomasi, man. I'm not that dude. Love Rolo. Got all kinds of respect for him. But I'm not just going to just, I'm not just going to fuck. I'm not just going to go away. Mm -mm. No, sir. This is the last video I'm making about you, but I promise, I promise you, you have not heard the last of me. You will definitely be talking to my lawyers, plural. And if you think I'm bullshitting, keep an eye on your mailbox, bro. Keep an eye on it. And I honestly, I hope, I hope that you make the egregious mistake of thinking that I'm actually sitting here bullshitting like you do, right? Like you like to throw around a bunch of, I'm going to sue you, I'm going to sue you. No, no. See, I'm not like you. I'm not like you. I've got money. I've hired lawyers. Count them lawyers. I made $20,000 in retainers, homie. So I'm not making any threats. I'm telling you what will happen. I'm telling you what will happen. I'm not sending you these, I'm not sending you these, these, uh, all this list of demands and whatever. Man, dude, I, dude, I never bought that bullshit for a second. The fuck out of here. I am absolutely going to make an example out of you. Real fucking talk. Real fuck. He should never, he should never have fucked with me, dude. He honestly, like this, I don't know. I don't know, man. He's He is completely oblivious. He really, 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 really underestimated me. I got the money and the patience to, to see this through to the end. And I will see it through to the end. Freelance Ronan, the original TSRO. Jesus, congratulations, Donovan. Being a promoter is brutally hard work. Job well done. Salute. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Freelance sent me a really uh, uh, heartfelt, uh, heartfelt email, man. Um, just kind of wishing me, you know, the best of luck and support. So Black Wolf Inc. says, just make sure it's not painless. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, like he's broke. Like, I mean, I mean, it's not like he, it's not like he can, it's not like he can, you know, he's broke. He's broke. He didn't have any money. He's... Mr. President had it all, but then started getting into his feminine. Must have started playing with My Little Pony dolls with his sisters. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's done. This is over with. Um, 
uh, this is over with. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to mention this anymore. Uh, the next time I'm going to mention this, probably, I would say with, I would say th uh, the next eight to 10 months is probably when I'll be addressing this because it'll be public record um, after all of the, um, after all of the legal stuff um, is done being, uh, is being uh, uh, sifted through. And um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, listen, man, you guys wanted me to listen. A lot of guys wanted me to respond and this and that. And I did here and there. But uh, now that the CME is uh, over and done and a complete and utter success, um, I figured I would um, I figured I would go ahead and address this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, TGB says, uh, listen, salt the earth. Homeboy deserved. He earned every second of it. Yes, he did. Anthony wanted this work. He's going to get this work. Trust me. Try. I don't believe that Anthony's ever seen the inside of a courtroom before. I don't. I don't believe that for a second. He's going to see plenty. <laughs> He's trust me. Trust me. Trust me. He's going to be seeing some courtrooms. You can believe that. Janik, twenty five Hong Kong dollars. Just to quote Dre, y'all gonna keep fucking around me and turn me back to the old me. Yeah. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Just a bunch of gibberish, and motherfuckers act. Like they forgot about Donovan. Black Wolf Inc. Two dollars says it will be the last video after you take his pride. He already took his pride, man. He already took his pride. He took his pride. So uh, yeah, Mr. Johnson. Um, um, uh, yeah, Anthony. Better he needs the lawyer up uh, big time because I'm coming. I'm coming for all of him. I'm coming for all of them. Um, I'm not fucking dude. What he did the last couple of few months ain't no way I'm letting him get away with that. <laughs> you kidding me? Take thought. No, ain't nobody taking the fucking high road. Fuck that. Fuck that. I will see, dude. I will see your ass. Whew, I will see your ass in court on the real. On the real. Uh, Jay, so so proud of you, man. Best revenge is success. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Um, so, um, so uh, yeah. Listen, if you guys want to know how I've, how I've really felt, all of that was was what I really, 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 really. I wanted to say a lot of this stuff for a while, and I wish I could go into more detail, guys, but I can't. Uh, but I promise you, the answers will come. You guys will know the full extent of everything. You're gonna have to be patient because it's gonna take time. Um, but if you want something done right, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take patience, and it's gonna take money. So, um, so we will see what happens. I'm sure I'm going to get, I'm sure, I'm sure feathers are going to be ruffled. Uh, with that said, guys, um, thank you. So listen, man, I owe each of you guys, uh, a debt of gratitude because the CME does not happen without you guys. It just does it, man. I cannot tell you how appreciative I am to have the support of men like you. Um, I really, really, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, those of you guys who stuck by me, um, even after all the nonsense was out there, I appreciate that. Those of you who jumped ship, go fuck yourself. But I would more, I'll be more than happy to welcome you back with open arms. Um, I, I totally get it. I totally understand it. But, um, <clears throat> but, um, but yeah. So that's uh, that's it. That's it. So um, stay tuned. Actually, I do have one more jab. I do have one more jab. <laughs> uh, toss me the, uh, the what you call it. You already know what I'm talking about, right? This is good. So I've got one more. I've got one more little jab to throw at him. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. This is a this is a wedding veil. So Dev and I are going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more fun. And then that'll be it. That'll be it. I promise. I think. <laughs> that'll be it. Um, at any rate, guys, um, that's the end of this. I'm not going to address it anymore on video. I may mention it here and there on Instagram, YouTube, or Instagram, whatever, Facebook or whatever. But that's the end of it. I've said all that I needed to say. Um, I've done all I needed to do. Um, I am claiming victory, man. Uh, I took this guy's best shot and um, I still managed to pull this thing off. So yes, hashtag exposed, exposed.
So uh, the Conference of Masculine Excellence, the Conference of Masculine Excellence is dedicated to Rolo Tomasi. Uh, Rolo, I love you, man. Um, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I remained amicable with Anthony after what he pulled with you. In hindsight, in hindsight, I should have cut bait like the rest of you guys did. Um, I'm a man. I could admit that I'm that that I was wrong for that. I wanted to, I wanted to stay sort of neutral uh, because I didn't have a. I mean, I figured you know what? If if I don't have a problem with it, if if I don't have a problem with Anthony, then. But what it really comes down to is that you're a friend of mine. And when someone who is not a friend of mine does something to a friend of mine, I should have I should have cut bait. And for that, I truly apologize. So so the Conference of Masculine Excellence, the inaugural Conference of Masculine Excellence, uh, is dedicated to the godfather himself, uh, Mr. Rolo Tomasi. Rolo, I apologize. Uh, and we're still, obviously, Rolo and I are on speaking. We're, 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 we're totally cool. But I want everybody to know, I want everybody to know, I just want to go on record in saying that I should have, I should have jumped ship when Anthony pulled what he did on Rolo. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is just, this is me making it right. Uh, so the first, so the inaugural CME is dedicated to, um, to, uh, the Godfather of Manosphere, Rolo Tomasi. So, uh, that is going to do it. Um, we're doing, we're taking a helicopter ride. I think tomorrow I'm too tired to think of anything right now. Oh my God. Um, oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to take some. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off, and um, <clears throat> come back with Temptation Island. Yes, come back with Temptation Island. Yes, 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 yes. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do um, Temptation Island breakdowns. Anyone who continues to collab with ADJ severely lacks intelligenza. Intelligenza. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys all. Thank you guys all for uh, for tuning in. I don't have Vegas Knights queued up uh, here in StreamYard, so I guess I will leave you with the six-ending video. Take care. <laughs>